What's going on, folks? So let's talk about what's been going on with Disney. So, they had just 86 Mr. Robert J. Packard, CEO, and returned former CEO, Mr. Iger, here. It's much to his delight. Many people have been optimistic about his return, while others are concerned. He wants to blame everything he did on J-Back, but is that really a good idea? No. There have been talks that he wants to sell Disney to Apple. Even though Disney is much older than Apple, which was created by Steve Jobs, who would go on to collaborate with John Lasseter to create Pixar, which Disney purchased in 2006. Pixar is best known for CGI animated films and are the first company to ever produce such a thing. As of 1995, all their films have been released by Disney. Under Iger's reign, Disney also went on to acquire Marvel Studios, maintaining their rights to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. They purchased Lucasfilm and, best for last, 20th Century Fox, one of the largest production companies in all of Hollywood. The studio is well known for some of their best flicks, including Zerba the Greek, The Sound of Music, Hello Dolly, Die Hard, Independence Day, Titanic, Night the Museum, Avatar, the Ice Age franchise, the X-Men franchise, the collaboration with Marvel Studios, Rio, Murder on the Orient Express, and many more. I highly doubt Apple would acquire the rights to Disney, although they would consider giving them the taste of their own medicine. Disney has also been well known for some of their best animated classics. Most of their highest grossing are musicals. These movies tend to rock the box office successfully. However, the latest movie, Strange World, completely flopped on opening day. Didn't see that coming. Apparently, in the film, there's a character that's gay. <laughs> you are gay. <laughs> Seriously, this is the first time Disney would ever put a gay character in their movies. But hey, at least they learned to be against racism. Earlier in 2022, Disney protested against Florida's Don't Say Gay Bill. But this proved to be a mistake, as Florida's governor threatened to strip Disney of their government. But that would cause a lot of damage for the economy. Disney has done a lot of generous charity-related things across the United States. They may be known for helping wishes come true, but as far as money goes, they're technically on the verge of chaos. But I don't know if that's any reason to panic. It's Disney, so I can bet your magical flying ark they might be able to figure something out. Of course, when it comes to making wishes come true, they're coming out with a new animated film called Wish which is done to commemorate the centennial. Wish will focus on the new protagonist character named Asha, a 17-year-old girl who makes a wish upon a star, a so reference to Disney's slogan, and has the team up with a star, literally called Star, to defeat the biggest and most dangerous villain Disney has ever tackled against. Hopefully, when Wish hits theaters, it'll be a box of a success. Strange World failed to surpass this goal. Compared to most animated Disney films released during the holidays, such as Frozen, Moana, and Encanto. Don't get me started on We Don't Talk About Bruno. That song fills me with rage! What the f Yet, as amazing as it is that Disney's success on these movies earned them lots of money, Strange World bombing would cost the studio loads of money. I mean, look at that. That's a damper. Thankfully for Disney, they have Marvel boosting the money with their MCU films, which are impressively a box of a success. What would we do without Kevin Feige? Plus, most of the money Disney is making off of is the theme parks, where tourists and families get together to have a fun time. However, there have been some incidents and deaths at, that have occurred at the parks, and Disney has been forced to reluctantly give the victims' family members money. Disney even operates a cruise line with their latest ship, Disney Wish, dedicated to helping wishes and dreams come true for everyone. Now, obviously, the theme parks are loosely based on the movies. 
Some people might compare Disney with Mr. Krabs, as they are both obsessed with money. If there's another merger, who with? Who would win in a money duo, Disney or Mr. Krabs? When it comes to movies and theme parks, they'd be like, We gotta get money. Anyway, just wanted to get this off my chest and discuss what's been going on with Disney. I look forward to putting it down a lot of projects. See you later.